Welcome back, Ejimosians, to another amazing video. In today's video, we are going to talk about Nollywood movie producer and actor and director Tiche De Chikwe. You know, since after Tiche De Chikwe divorced his wife, his ex-wife, Noel and Jubibu, for the past few years now, he has not been trending on social media, except when he like supported Yule Doche for getting married to a second wife. And people were like bashing him, saying that that's what he does, like getting married from one Hollywood actress to the other and all that. Why won't he support Yule Doche, who also got married to second wife, who is a Hollywood actress? After then, he has not been trending on social media, like people were not hearing much about him. But now, the guy is trending for some reason that is shocking to many. And the trend actually started since the day before yesterday and is still trending up until yesterday until today. What is making him trend has a connection with his first wife who is also an actress, his second wife who is also an actress and him. So everything is like connecting to the three of them. And the question is, why is he trending? So in this video, you get to know why he's trending what he did wrong or right this time around that is making him trend and why is he involving both his first wife second wife and every other person around him including his children that he had with both his wives so let's quickly get right into the video and talk about why he's trending you know when teaching the chick divorced his ex-wife noel and jubigu People were saying, okay, now that he has gotten married first time and divorced, gotten married second time and divorced, that I, they don't think that he will ever be happy because he will not see someone that will truly love him and all that. So recently, day before yesterday, Tichi the Chico came up on social media to tell everyone that he's married that for the third time, that he had married for like a few months back. And he's telling his fans and followers that he's happy and okay, contrary to what they believed. On the post he made, announcing that he has gotten married for the third time, he puts a picture that actually cuts off the face of the wife. But the body and the wedding ring was shown in the picture. This is not even what is making it trend. What is making this news to trend is for the father, the first wife that he got married to, Sophia Williams. You know, Sophia had been bitter all this while that TJD left her and married Noel and Jubibu. And she was accusing Noel and Jubibu of snatching away TJD from her. So everyone was expecting her to be bitter this time for jumping into another marriage again without even considering because Sophia gave birth for him for like three boys and now those boys are grown-up teenagers merely looking at their pictures here yeah, you could see that these guys are men now the boys are men so people were like okay Sophia shouldn't be like bothered with whether whatever he's doing that she shouldn't be happy for how he's jumping from one marriage to the other but to the greatest surprise of many of her fans she posted on her Instagram page congratulating teacher the chick that's not all Tichi the Chico also posted a screenshot of his conversation with Sophia on WhatsApp, saying that, okay, look, the first woman that I got married with is happy with me, so why can't you all be happy with me that I'm happy and I finally got married to the third wife? So people were questioning why he got married again. Like, he has all the children that he needs to have. I think he has about five or six children right now. And he's doing well in his career. People were like, okay, what are you looking for in marriage? And people were saying that you are not even taking good care of your children. And you are in nemesis with your ex-wives. So why can't you like go and make peace with your ex-wives and then take care of your children like you're supposed to? That getting married for the third time is not the big deal. And that is not where happiness is. That if time is not taken, that he will also divorce the third wife. So, Chichi the Chikre now turned everything into a motivational speaking thing. He then posted a picture of him with a long note with a starting caption like, for everybody who cares to know kind of a thing. And he started posting screenshots of his conversation with his ex-wives where he talked to them about taking care of their children 
and everything and how he is friends with them and co-parents with their children and everything is working fine so he was like sharing pictures giving advice to people who are divorced and have children and they should emulate from how they take care of their children he also shared the screenshot of his conversation with noel and jubibu insinuating that he is cool with Noel and Jubibu and all that and they are taking care of their daughter together. So Noel and Jubibu then posted on Instagram with the caption, greedy hearts. And without saying anything, people were like, okay, this one she posted like this. Okay, she's not happy with the fact that Tichi the Chica has gotten married to the third wife and all She's not happy for the fact that Chika is claiming to be taking care of the daughter. Maybe he's not truly really taking care of the daughter as he's claiming, you know? Before we could know what was going through her mind, she said that she's going to tell her own story on her YouTube channel. That we should go to her YouTube channel and follow her up so that when the story drops, everybody will see it. And most people were saying that, Madam, we know it's not your fault. We know that everything that is happening is about T. Chikere because his first wife left him and now you left him. That means he's the cause of his marital problems. So there's no need going to your YouTube channel to hear your own side of the story. And if there is any vital information that you want to give us, it's better you drop it on your Instagram page so that we, we can just like read it or hear your video out and move on with our lives. We don't want in a situation whereby you turn your marital problems to a series or podcast on YouTube and be cashing out with your marital problems. That's not cute. That's what everybody was saying. But then... Let's focus on the part of Tichi the Chikere. That guy has taken marriage. Aside from being a Nollywood producer, that guy now, his second occupation is divorcing, getting married again, and divorcing and getting married again. Now, this is his third marriage. And nobody told the third wife that, okay, this guy you're about to get married to, he has two failed marriages. And from the two failed marriages, all fingers were pointing at him. Do you really want this kind of life for yourself where you will rush into marriage and then get out of the marriage within few years because everybody was saying that's exactly what was going to happen like Tichi the Chikre is known for divorcing getting married and divorcing and all that what i don't understand is why women could marry anything even if the person is divorced like 50 times they don't like don't want to know where the problem is coming from all the thing is that them themselves they are special even if the guy is the problem that they are going to change the guy and make the guy a better somebody for them so they go into the marriage and when everything becomes unbearable and they will be shouting oh my god i gave him my all and he just took me for granted and before you could know it they are rushing out of the marriage and that's all i just wonder how you have seen that someone that has two failed marriages and the failure of their marriage was controversial highly controversial and you said yes do you think that your own tenor will be different and also to be very honest if Tichi the chica was a woman and be doing all this getting married and getting divorced and getting married and getting divorced tongues will be wagging on social media like they will be bashing him from left left and right and all that saying that you're a loose woman you're a this you're a that i think this kind of thing don't usually favor women they favor men a lot and he was saying that look i'm happy you guys should wish me well it actually means that he's not happy because if you're happy and you're being vocal and announcing that you're happy it means that you're not happy and also for the fact that he was posting screenshots of his conversation with his exes and trying to insinuate that everything is fine with them that they are co-parenting in peace it actually means that they are not co-parenting in peace and the little conversation that they had that seems peaceful is isn't is not what it is like maybe it was planned or what because you can see that uh noella Njubibo said that she's going to tell her own side of the story and she said greedy hearts it, it actually means a lot it means that there are two ways to the things that he's posting what is his netting is not actually the truth it's only god knows the truth and i pray that let his marriage this time works out for him and also there is a, another thing that is trending in nollywood actually a movie producer called out actor ray emody for some weird reasons that you can't even imagine that ray emody could do something like this like 
the reason why she called him out man and she was crying on the screen explaining everything that happened so i i've made a video about that where i, I also talked about what happened and also showed the video of the producer explaining what Emodi did to her and then Emodi also came up to defend himself and explain what happened and everything the ac the accusation between the both of them are so much so click on the video up there to watch it so that you will know how everything happened it's actually trending everywhere both on facebook on instagram and on twitter and everybody is talking about it so click on it and watch it and to meet in another video